What do you think he'll be coming out with? Bro, I have no idea, honestly. <laughs> I, I, when I played him on Saturday, he played Wolf. Mm -hmm. um, that was in bracket. But, uh, oh, Roots. This is Roots. I know, I know who this is. Give me some info. Uh, I just know the tag, actually. Oh. <laughs> I, I forgot who they play. All right, we're about to find out real soon. We oh, got Fa Falcon. Yes. That, yep. Now it's now it's connecting. Falcon. Okay, K9's going Joker. Yep. Yeah, so it was Joker, Lucina, and Wolf. That's definitely has been going on there. A lot of Falcons today. I like that. I like seeing Falcons on here, but Joker. Persona rep coming in and we're hopping right into the game number one of K9 versus Roots. Yeah, game number one on Town and City, an unusual starting stage. Uh, most people actually go to PS2. Oh my god, look at K9, he's doing so much already. 68%, 78, all unanswered, and finally gets a little bit of damage down, but not too much. Rebels Guard coming into play, Arsene. Is a taking time bomb that Roots has got to be careful for. Yeah. Um, yeah, he definitely has to be cautious. Very nice uh, little setting right there from K9 actually getting the drag down uh, into the grab, getting even more damage. Almost got the spike there, so K9 doing such a good job. Great parry from Roots. He jumped over the Aegon. He's able to do so much, trying to use that down to the two frame. Catches out with losing the Nair once more, but Roots overcommits and loses stage control and almost costs it the stock, but uh, K9's got the edge guard. Yeah, getting it with the back air and only 79% on this stock. Nice, getting the Nair, grab, up air, up air. Nearly getting the, uh, he tried to get the drag down on the second oh, one. He almost got the confirm with one hit of Nair into the knee and looks like he jumped a little too high, so Roots, gotta be careful. Nice use of the sliding F tilt. Oh man, the immediate down tilt from the ledge was so good of K9 because it actually low profiled the Falcon up B, which is such a good ledge trapping tool. I mean, you it covers get up, like it covers jump, it probably covers get up attack on some characters, like so that was really good. Yeah, but the one option it didn't cover is what K9 yeah. pulled out that definitely didn't expect, but a Roots with that back here finally takes K9 stock. He's definitely got to be careful, though. He's got to stack up this damage, but the problem with that is, like, even though you get that comeback damage and you start working on that stock, Arsene comes out and ruins your day. Right. The one thing I will say, though, is I, I've played this matchup a good amount of times, and if Rude is confident, he can just go in on uh, Joker with or without Arsene and get rid of Arsene really quickly. And he also has the mobility to just, you know, avoid Arsene. He didn't even need to do that. Yeah. He didn't even need to go off stage. Kano's just making sure that he's dead, right? Making sure that his, he is as dead as that F-Zero franchise from the <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no. You're going you're gonna to get canceled by, by the F-Zero fans. Yeah, but here we go. They're in the chat, bro. Oh, yeah, the, th the three of them, right. Of course, but oh, my God. What is this down here? He got just two in a row into the tech chase scenario. 79% roots in a world of hurt. That Nair clipping him out. Yeah, K9 calling out the jump right there. Hitting him with the reverse up air and taking game number one in a really solid fashion. As I was saying though, I have I have played this matchup a, a good amount just because one of my like best friends plays Falcon and solo Falcon and I've pretty much been soloing Joker for the past couple of weeks. It, it feels pretty even. Gun is really effective against Falcon. Um, yeah, but they, disadvantage. They both can edge guard each other super well because Falcon can actually Edge guard Joker, even when he has his tether recovery, right? So without Arsene, he's really effective as doing it. You just have to be confident in where you're placing your hitboxes and uh, not overextend, right? I mean, we're starting to get it. He used his Nair to catch out K9's jumps and whatnot. But the problem is, is that it's a, you're in a world of hurt if you mess it up. And Ch K9, Ch chat's laughing because I said it feels even. Yo, guys, the key key word is it feels kind of even. Doesn't at mean times, it so. doesn't mean it's right, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but here we go, walking into this one. A lot of gun, and remember, the gun, dis uh, gun try to get yourself out of disadvantage can work really well, but Arsene, once again, is going to be pulled out. I like the shield pressure coming in, and he doesn't and able to take it out. K9, you gotta chill out with these down airs, using them on stage like they're nothing, and a lot of dash decks coming in. Roots looking a little bit of desperation to try to get something down, and uh, once again, K9 on point with it, and he clips oh. him out with that F smash. Yeah, Roots overextending past the ledge with the up going a little bit too high. Easy punish for K9 right there, who continues to rack up his damage. Roots is still off stage too, in the corner here. And he's trapped once more. He's trying to go for the spike as well. Oh, thankfully the tether grab did come into play, but the back air finally forcing K9 
K9 off, but Roots trying to commit to something. If there's something I would really be careful about Roots is that he seems to go for these options and then overcommits, loses stage control, and then actually pays with the stock. Oh, trying to get something down, but Roots. The bane of a Falcon's existence. <laughs> go over aggressive. That's literally like when I play this matchup, I'm just like, I'm getting hit a lot. I'm like, oh, okay. I need to just sit here and let you come to me. Mm -hmm, but K9 does get his stock taken. Great yeah. job by using that up special and trying to get the, using the confirm to try to get, I think K9's doing a good job DIing to try to get away from that combo. Actually, a high recovery and managed to jump over it. Tried to read it, but K9's get up attack was able to get him out of that situation. He caught up the jump once more, forced off stage. K9 not going for the edge guard just yet, but trying to get something down. 131%. Roots has got to be in a careful if he wants to try to get the stock back. Okay. Oh my god. That's so scary with Joker. Yeah. Like people are just like base Joker can't kill and then MK Leo comes out with these crazy like confirms. Yeah, They're like wow can. that's terrifying. And I mean he has crazy confirms but he has ones that are really simple. I mean just a simple like fair drag down into like this or you could do a fair one to fair like I'm sorry, fair one, mm -hmm. fair one, and drag him down, jab lock, F smash, like, they're, they're, he could kill you, like, whatever, it's like, how am I feeling it? I, I'm gonna kill you this way. And then when he's when he's got Arsene, ouch. <laughs> I was not ready for that down air. Ooh. Piercing through the heart, that's what they all say, right? What pierces through the heart? Jeez. 